Good afternoon, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, um, and welcome to Spain part three. Um, <laughs> this was actually filmed from the 30th of uh, March until the 8th of April. Um, but I just haven't had a chance between one thing and another because I already had stuff from Christmas to do. Um, so without further ado, I'd just like to go into say one or two things before I go ahead with the video. Um, I have them written down here, so just forgive me if I'm kind of looking down and reading this. The first thing I'd like to mention is actually is to say how sorry I am and all of the guys from DJ McArdle are to hear about Nikki Collier, um, who was tragically killed in DFT docks uh, only last week. Um, I mean, this, this job is so dangerous, people don't realise how, how easy it is, you know, to get crushed. And, and it doesn't have to be your fault. It can be someone else's fault, and a lot of the time it is someone else's fault. So God rest Nikki, and you know, great turnout. Uh, the, for those of you, congratulations. Well done for those of you who turned up to his uh, removal and funeral with your trucks. It was really, I'm sure the family really appreciated it. Uh, a few shout outs, Jim McCoy, uh, met him in Dixon's yard the other day. Jim is from Galway and he asked me to give him a shout out. Uh, he's come up from Galway to work for Dixon's, he's going to give it a try and see how it works. And uh, I'm sure it'll work out, Jim. And there's plenty of work around anyway, so don't be short. Uh, Stephen Pickering. Stephen, how's the operation going? You were saying that you were waiting for the operation. Uh, you, you must let me know how you've got on. Um, you do enjoy the videos and I appreciate it. And I appreciate all the messages. I don't get around to all of them all the time. I know the likes of like Luke and Jay and Scott and Jenko and Kev T are knocking out a video every week. I'm not able to do that because I just, between looking after the kids and traveling 100 miles a day to and from work and doing 12 hours a day or whatever, I just don't get the opportunity. But I'm gonna try harder. Uh, Charlie Taylor recommends Aussie Jane Denham. Uh, Charlie, you're an Australian guy, maybe you an Aussie yourself. He uh, recommended an Aussie singer called Jane Denham, D-E-N-H-A-M. Uh, so if you like country music, check her out, you might like her. Uh, Casey James asked for a shout out for Dad John. Hi, John James, how you doing? Casey asked for a shout out for you. Uh, Willie Hannon, sorry Willie, I forgot you from Kildare. I do apologise. And Willie, you're, you're among a few people that I've forgot as well. Ian Inns forgot as well. And Fraser Man, 56, the Urban Courier for Cyclone. He wrapped my knuckles for forgetting him, and I did also. So I apologise to you, Fraser. Fraser, Fraser Yam, Fraser. <laughs> Faser, he's going to kill me. Faze Yam, 56, Urban Courier, you know who you are anyway. Uh, Brendan Michael Hughes, shout out to you. Now, Niall O'Connor, another guy I do appreciate sending messages, and I did forget about you, Niall, and apologise, and you're back in on this one, Niall. Uh, Mark Dawson, also for a shout out, Mark. Appreciate you watching the videos. Thanks very much, Mark. Uh, Molly McKeargan. Kirgan. Can I have a shout out please, Ned? Yes, you can, Molly. I'm sorry if I made a mess of your surname. I'm good at doing that. Uh, today, your shout out for you, Molly. Uh, Big Dave from Leicester. Hi, Dave. Thanks for watching the videos. Appreciate it. Uh, Johnny Rogerson mentioned Stevie and Angie. Yes, a lot of people have been watching uh, Stevie Blokes and Angie uh, since I posted uh, one of his videos there. Uh, I, get, I get endless entertainment out of them. Uh, I think they're fantastic. Do great videos. And something that Stevie actually mentioned there last week, and he's dead right, and I I've actually taken note of it myself. If you're using free music from YouTube or from anywhere else, and there's lots of sites that do free music, give the artist a, a credit, put their name on it, it's no big deal. Now I know some of them, you know, make you do it, but I, I, I choose ones that are not made to do it, and I use No Sweat a lot, and you'll hear it in this video as well, an Irish band called No Sweat from the 1990s, but I do give them a credit, and Steve is right, you should give credit to artists when you're using their music. Uh, let me see, Shane Mitchell and Andy Kirk from Vancouver. I missed you two guys the last time and I do apologise. Uh, hello to everybody in Canada. Uh, Shane Pryor, genuine about Matt Ireland. Yes, he's right. Matt Ireland does great videos, guys. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, he works for Trans Am Trucking. Check his videos out, Matt Ireland. He's very, very good. Uh, Secret Six sent me a message. He had a tumour 22 years ago and he said it changed his life. Uh, I know a lot of us, you know, in this business, it's not the healthiest business to be in and you really need to take care of yourself. And I'm, I don't, to be honest with you. Um, 
let me see now what do you say get it spend it and if you ain't got it spend it anyway that's his theory actually get it spend it and if you ain't got it spend it anyway so Todd from Oregon USA retired trucker retired trucker um, thanks for the message Todd and appreciate it nice to hear any from anybody from the USA absolutely love the United States follow Ray trucker Ray and Yeshua all the time as well excellent stuff um, Here's another one from the USA. Steve Wild, Stephen Wilder from Houston, Texas. And he's back over the road. So I think, Stephen, he's back driving again. Lee Hendrick. Uh, and I just look at your post there about your mum uh, who died at age 51, Lee. And that's, that's, I mean, my mum died when she was 78, but dying at 51 is just, there's no words really for that. It's just so sad. Uh, Freddie Bowman for, from Virginia, USA. Hello to you, Freddie. James Moffat. Uh, he was a trucker in Spain in the 1990s and he sent me a nice message about the, how, the way things have changed over the years. It's definitely not the same job as it was. Uh, Kieran Keeley, shout out missed as well. And apologies to you, Kieran, because I did miss your shout out. Uh, Kieran Burke, um, 04 is down here. Kieran Burke, 04. Hi, Kieran. Yeah, I, you'll probably see me in the port. If you're in around Dublin Port any day, you'll see me down there. I'm in the port every morning around 6 o'clock and I usually leave around quarter to 7. Um, Frank Bing. Frank and Mary Grace from Kent. Or, sorry. Frank and Mary Grace Kent from Stoke-on-Trent sent me a message for a shout out that's for you guys I appreciate the views uh, in fact actually there's no Mo or Billy in this part three but I'll see if I can get them back in part four uh, Gary Scabo S-K-O Scobo from the USA how you doing Gary Paul Martin uh, from Southwest UK did Spain for fish and he used to bring uh, fruit home so Paul Martin did the continent he used to do fish down to, to Vigo probably in Spain and then load fruit home that's usually the way it goes uh, American English Motors from Southwest England asked me to give him a shout out so American English Motors check them out on Facebook uh, Pete Brennan mentions the ghost towns in Spain yeah I don't know how people survive in those little villages in Spain I mean God you know I, I only saw one person I think in the three villages I passed for uh, let me see John F F Fongers uh, mentioned that the big bulls in the background they have them up on the hills somewhere in Spain you see them it's a real feature of the Spanish sort of background uh, that they have these bulls um, but it's it, it looks really well but it's a real Spanish thing you know uh, let me see now ah yes also hold on a second here now also I'm just gonna say that anybody that's starting vlogging videos I'm, I'm looking at YouTube now all the time when I've when I have a chance and I'm seeing more and more truck drivers m most of them from the UK there's very few Irish guys doing it I think that guy Grant young fella started doing it and I don't know why he didn't didn't keep doing it um, but does anyone that's starting vlogs from the UK or from Ireland uh, just send me an, a message and I will promote it on I'll always promote people on my page because everyone needs a, a leg up um, I needed a leg up and other people need leg ups and it doesn't it doesn't cost me anything to mention sorry I'm banging the microphone it doesn't cost me anything to mention someone on my YouTube channel and if I can help somebody out I will people have helped me out in the past and I'd like to help other people uh, now, uh, people have been asking me, Ned, when is your next trip? When are you going out on another trip? And the answer to that question is very simple. Um, I, I'm only able to go out when I have somebody to mind the children, even though they're not children anymore. My daughter's 16, my son is 17, but I go away to work every day, but I would not leave them on their own overnight, even at this stage. Um, and I certainly wouldn't go away on the continent for a week. I had an agreement with the kid's mother who hasn't had custody of the children for 15 years I had an agreement with her that every three months I would get a week away and do a trip on the continent and that she would come down and mind the kids now that was the agreement and it worked fine for Christmas and it worked fine up um, up until April uh, but I was due to go, out, to go out again in July and it didn't happen it didn't happen because uh, without going into too much detail she reneged on her on her promise as you know she's been doing it for the last 15 years so I'm not really surprised uh, she got a job driving a bus and now she doesn't have any time for to let me go for a break and she doesn't have any time for her own children it's a very unusual situation when you have a woman that doesn't care about her own children but this woman doesn't care about her own children I, I don't understand it you know a duck a, a dog a swan will care about their own children but this woman doesn't care about her own children and that's just life she'll be the one that will pay the price for that in the long run um, so you know again I say apologies for the late 
production of this video I had so much to do and I think I have another two or three left in the Spanish one and after that guys I might as well be honest with you I have no idea when I'm going to get out again on the continent I have no idea because without her help and unless the kids are 18 which is another two years I don't know I really don't know and to be honest with you I would suspect that it'll be a long time again before I'm able to get out now I'm hope hopefully I'm wrong um, but so that's it so you know um, anyone who has or wants a shout out if I've missed you again on the shout outs I do apologize because I'm missing people all the time I'm writing this stuff down you see that's what I've written down with all these people and I do I went through all the messages I had and that's about all I can get if I've missed somebody again I do apologize and just send me a message say hey Ned you missed my shout out or whatever Um other than that guys uh, I hope you enjoy the video and please you know if you're not a subscriber please consider doing so uh, it's not a, it's, you, don't, you don't have to but I would like you if you're not a subscriber please do subscribe if you can and there's a little bell down to the right hand side and there were down here is a little bell uh, if you, if you, do you see that it, it see where it says there um, subscribe it's only a little tiny little button on red if you click on that and click on the bell beside it that will give you notifications whenever I upload a video now I know that at the moment they're few and far between and for time that. and so does Steve and Angie they do great videos by the way and watch them and also Trucker Ray um, and his lovely daughter Chelsea and Steve Wilder actually mentioned Ray and Chelsea um, she has a memorial page actually uh, Chelsea Gothier, that's uh, Ray's daughter that was unfortunately murdered um, about two years ago now and it's still unsolved. They're still waiting to, to hear from back from the police and how he's able to survive it and go about his business, I, I don't honestly know. But uh, then again as well, you know, just the last thing I'll say is God love, you know, Nicky Collier and uh, condolences really to your family and to all who knew him, you know, just a terrible tragedy and another guy gone way too soon, you know. Anyway, folks. Thanks for listening. Sorry about bleating on as much as I did. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Bye for now. We tip on in here and see I, I'm having difficulty finding this place um, because the name of the place has a different street name than the address I've been given so it could either be that they well the name of the company is right but they could have several different plants like you know a lot of these places have three or four different plants and I can't find the one that I have an address to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'll just show you here. That's the address, Iran, Mentinamento Faravizio SA, Calle Antonio Carb Carbos and Carbzon. Uh, 
So I have the 2834 Madrid, which is the most important bit. So I'll be in the right area. And I'm gonna get on to Cali Antonio Cabazon. And if I have to go in and ask, then that's what I'll do. I'm just tipping along here about 82 kilometers an hour and I'm getting past here left, right and center, but it doesn't matter to me, you know. These are all Spanish trucks. A Polish lorry now passed me there, but these are all Spaniards. And it's the same in Italy. There's a different law for them than there is for us, you know. Like they're, the police are not going to come down as hard on their own people as, uh, you're welcome, my friend, um, as they would do on, um, you know, the likes of other European drivers. So, I'm in no panic. If I was in, a, if I was under pressure to get this delivery off and go on somewhere else, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd be tipping along at, you know, 85 or 90 or whatever I could get away with. Um, but, that guy doesn't want to pull in. So that's the way it is. Um, two flashes there for the Czech or for the the Czech Republic and uh, no reaction um, so I don't know they can do whatever speed they want you know it's up to them uh, maybe they're under pressure maybe they have three or four deliveries around Madrid that they want to get done today I have one delivery to do and when that's done I'm finished and I think, as far as I know, I'm going back to Barcelona to load for Friday morning. And today is Wednesday morning, so I have a 24-hour break to take. And I would like to take the 24-hour break in the Port de Barcelona service area. P-O-R-T-E, Port de Barcelona. Because that looks like a right spot. And that's where I want to aim for. If I am going, that's if I am going back to Barcelona. Now, they may have changed the plan, but that is, as far as I know, that's what's happening. So, time will tell. It's just gone 10 o'clock at home, 11 o'clock here. So, if I'm there for about 12, 12 30, that'll do me fine. There's some nice service areas actually on this A2. Um, all the way along, there's some really nice looking service areas and restaurants. So, anyone that's on this road, it's well looked after. I think this is the road that goes from Barcelona to uh, to Madrid. So I think I'll be going back on this road anyway. Yeah, it is Zaragoza, Barcelona. Yeah, this is the road. This is the bar. This is the Barça road anyway. There's a fair load now coming up there. With the, if you look to the far side of the road there, there is a convoy exceptional. Look at that. Jesus, that's serious. That thing must be nearly 100 feet long. This road is well serviced with garages and parking areas, which is great. Here comes another one. They're not disrupting traffic at all. Just staying into the one lane and that's it. Probably not an awful lot of weight in what they're carrying, but it's just the length and the awkwardness of it. There's Madrid now, the R2. That's the road I'm gonna be going on to. That's like, I'd say it's like a ring road, you know, like an orbital, same as the M25, something like that.
they're all going straight on. I'm just going to take this road. Now we're approaching some kind of a payage here. Did say it was a toll road, so. I don't think that these tolls in Spain are anything major, you know? I don't think they're uh, they're expensive or anything. But obviously the uh, the locals and the, the, the Spanish hauliers won't use the toll roads. And it's obvious that the cars don't use it either because it's actually literally empty. Thank you. Look, there's nothing on them. Nothing. Nothing at all. Only me and the bus. And a few cars, that's it. I remember that from the last time I was around here. That the toll road is always very quiet. People just don't want to pay for it. Which is fair enough. And if you know the area well, there's no reason to be on it. But that's the way I'm being brought by my navigation system so that's fine I still have 36% fuel left and 55% ad blue so I'm I'm rocking Madrid 52 ah we'll be there soon so I just got a message from the office um, I have yes I'm going to um, Barcelona is where I'm loading and there's a few collections on it but Darren said that I can doesn't matter which, which way it's loaded you can load whichever one you want first, second, third because it's all going to the same place or must be or it's all going to Dublin anyway I don't know so I've only got two loading bars I'm supposed to have four loading bars in this fridge and there's only two in it but two is better than none something I should have checked before I left the yard but sometimes when the trailer's loaded right out to the back door, it's very hard to see them anyway. In 600 meters, keep left to stay on R2. Another payage. Thank you very much. So we've a bit to go yet. This place is obviously on the north side of Madrid. By the looks of this anyway. I uh, will have three hours driving done by the time I've this delivered. So that'll leave me with six hours left and I don't think that's going to bring me back to Barcelona. I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't think six hours is going to bring me back to Barcelona. But that doesn't matter. Just do what I can get up in the morning and then do the rest a couple of collections tomorrow and when I have all the collections done I'll be heading up the road and I'll probably have to take my 24 hour break in, in France somewhere 
that's more than likely going to be the way it's going to work. But that's fine too. Might be able to get up as far as uh, Langers or Langress. If I get as far as I can tonight, if I get back in almost to Barcelona or near as I can to it, I should have enough hours tomorrow after loading to get me up to Langres. And that's up above Leon, above Macon, and nearer to Dijon. Now we're on to a four-lane road. I'm going to keep right on to Nando de Montes. In 1.8 kilometers, keep Exit right. B I'm going on to now, not 10A. Don't know why this sat nav's not talking to me. A nightmare this is.
Oh, this is very stressful. I think I'm in the wrong place. I think they've given me the wrong address. So I'm right in the middle of Madrid now. This can't be right. Just can't be right here. Just can't be right. So I'm actually delivering into this train sta train station. Um, I'm looking for a break in the wall along here. That's what she said. This is crazy. I wonder is this it? I don't think it is. It's just fucking crazy shit. Hello, hello, oh, can you tell me? I'm looking for this. And the number? Uh, they have no number. I, I was told it's an entrance to a train station. There's a train station and I have to go to where the entrance to the train station is. Okay, so you have to go to the train station? Yes, it's on this wall somewhere, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. And, uh, how can I say, when you finish the street, I, I mean, 
you will arrive to one point where you will be in uh, like forest. Okay. Be, uh, yes, correct. Crossroads. Cr crossroads. Yes. Then on the right. On the right side. Okay. This is the station. That's Th the that's the entrance. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye bye. Oh my lord. Ridiculous. How are we supposed to get through here? Look. My lord. Now, this is unbelievable, but we're here. Hello. This car Gary. Oh, it's difficult for the camion. Foo, big problem. Passport. Passport? Yeah, one second. Hold on. Fucking passport. What a fucking passport for? Oh, thanks very much, Joe. This is so my um, my last delivery is to a train station in the middle of fucking Madrid. And I thought I was gone. I thought I was completely gone lost the two sat navs were telling me two different things a 
I wouldn't have got up that turn anyway. So this is where I'm at. This is fucking madness. This is madness. Probably nowhere up here to turn around now or anything. You know? Don't see any office, but... We're here to turn around. The fuck am I going to turn around here? This is some laugh, I'll tell you. In the middle of Madrid in a train station. So finally, finally I'm where I'm supposed to be. And they're probably all gone on their lunch. Who would believe it? Who would believe it? I'm sure I'll sit back and laugh about this now when I get it all edited and everything, but I wasn't laughing this morning, I can tell you that. I wasn't laughing this morning. much easier if that crate was on a curtain side you could just open the the curtain and pull it out but it ain't not going to move that with a pallet truck either i can't see that being lifted with a pallet truck i don't know what they're going to do with it i don't know what they're going to do You see where it is? Are you gonna need more than just a forklift? I 
Ay. <laughs> it's three tons. This is fucking three ton weight. Look. I'm not going to lift that with a forklift. With a... With a I don't know. I don't know how you're going to do it, Sunshine. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Okay, okay. Get the forms under, yeah. That's a good result. All is not lost. <laughs> ah, that was all my invention, but I told them to get the ropes and they told me, oh, I can't unload it. Unload it, all right. Okay, first we will push push this onto the forks and take this down. Yeah. Vamos a sacar primero Miguel este el traspalet y luego ya arrastras. You have nice weather. This will be the worst than the previous weeks. Really, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that was quite good. Now, hold on. Okay. Just under, underneath here. Okay, up. Levanta. Arriba. Sube, sube. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, we're gonna to need to pull it, pull it out. I'm gonna have to put another strap on it. Okay, you wanna go back? That's okay, go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah, go on. Vamos. Go on. Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Now, in. Perfect, though. Yeah, good, good. Now, up. Lift it up. Sí, levanta, 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 Miguel. No te metas más. Ya está. Okay. Very good. Well done. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry.
Yes, yeah. Thank you. God, thanks be to God for that. Don't endorse it. Empty frigo. And that was a bit of an ordeal. You okay with these? Yeah? Okay. Now put them on. On the on the crate? Okay. Ay yeah 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 yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye. Have a good day. My lord. Right. We're leaving here now. That's our job done. That's our deliveries done. Now, the next task, and I can tell you it is a task, is to get out of Madrid. Because we're in a, a really dodgy area. I don't mean like dangerous, I mean just difficult, with narrow roads, narrow streets, and I had an awful job to find this place, and even when I got into the actual train station itself, I was here for another 10 or 15 minutes trying to find where exactly I was supposed to be. Um, so you can see, you can see around me. I'm in the middle of a train station. You know, I'm almost. Running down along the side of trains, like you know, this stuff had to be delivered a crate into the middle of a train station, and it, on the north side of Madrid. But like the north side of Madrid might as well be the centre of Madrid because it's all built up. That screen is terrible for 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 um, see if I can try and find my way out of here now.
here we go now here's our first sign for Zaragoza and once we have this then we're on the pig's back there we go we're going on to the R2 now the M50 R2 <laughs> Madrid's M50 couldn't be any worse than ours oh, same thing again here in the reverse Except we're going out rather than coming in. the only truck on it this time I can understand people wanting to use this at this time of day or coming into rush hour I'd say people will use that toll road because the other road probably gets completely blocked up and it's not surprising really Guadalajara 31 There has to be some advantage to this toll road, otherwise people wouldn't use it at all. I mean, it has to be either shorter or it has to avoid traffic. One or the other, because otherwise people just would not use it.
big long tube you all day getting anywhere with that wouldn't you look at this coming down the hill plenty of room for them on these roads though it's the only thing Now we have a five percenter. It's a fair old drop. Barcelona three seventy eight, Zaragoza seventy nine. So I'll get my uh, I'll get my diesel there in Zaragoza. Zaragoza or whatever the people call it and I'll take my 30 minutes there uh, three let me see four three and three is six six hours seven I'll only be able to do two hours after that so six seven eight nine so we should be finished about quarter to ten or so That'll be our day's work done. It's enough for a day's work, I'm telling you. Because I'm on the go since half past seven this morning and I literally, apart from my 45 minute breaks, which I've only had two of, I've been on the go all day long. I've covered a fair few miles today, I can tell you that. I've earned me keep. I've certainly earned my keep.
all up on the hill. We're just 1.9 kilometers away from this exit. Uh, Poligano. Ooh, what's it called again? Poligano El Sacco. Poligano El Sacco. Hopefully this place now won't be difficult to find. Or that Google Maps won't bring me somewhere stupid. It says two minutes here, so they can't be too far off the motorway. Take exit 339, then keep left at the fork. Keep left at the fork. Okay. Go no El Saco, and I see the AS24 symbol up there. Which is a good sign. Very good. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Yeah, let's see how we get on here.
I'll blue number six. Yes. Number I'll blue number six. Yes. You take a card. Okay. So this is it, big old hill up there. I'm just getting the ad blue here first. And uh, there's the ad blue full, which is great. That's that one done. It only takes very little. Ad blue fills up fairly quickly. It looks like I was just in time here because it's a load more after arriving here now. And I have this to myself as well, this little machine here. I have this to myself, which is great. Now let's go again. Which pump do we want this time? Number seven. usually quite quick well they have been all day hopefully it will continue thank you quite narrow but just gonna stop here for two seconds and just have a look I heard a bit of a bang when I was coming out of that place and hopefully there's no no issue Everything is okay. Thanks be to the Lord God. Now. De otros votos, lo político quizás. Tablero deportivo, número electorales y sin fondos para pagarlas. La semilla denuncian de una nueva crisis. Acusan a Pedro Sánchez de usar la Moncloa y el Parlamento como la oficina electoral del PSOE.